So is it too late for us to be prepared? Are we past the point of no return? Is what the whole government, the world leaders, the billionaires, are they putting all these things in place? Is this their plan? What can we do about it? What is the one thing that we can do to try to stop it? Stopping it's probably going to probably be very difficult because let's just face it, the billionaires are the ones calling the shots. They're the ones that want us to do whatever they want. And throughout history, the way you control the multitudes of crowds and the people is through food. And we have seen a lot of disruptions in the food chain. You know, we have the so-called bird flu. So they're killing off all the chickens. One would only guess the next thing to come to town would be the swine flu. So they could kill off all the pigs. What do you all think? I think to some extent that this is a controlled, slow environment change. And the reason I say that is, is because it just seems pretty odd that a lot of this stuff is taking place. Yeah, we've had factories that have burned down. We've had uh, uh, fertilizer factories here that burned down. We've had um, big warehouses for big corporations. Well, those have burned down too and lost millions of tons of food. Um, what do you think? Something, something's not right in Denmark, if you get what I'm saying. Um, there's too much stuff that's going on. There's too many unknowns. And there's a hell of a lot of questions, right? I mean, if you're not paying attention and you haven't been really uh, trying to stay in the loop of what these people are trying to do and how they want to control what you and me do, what you and me buy, where we go, um, they want to try and put together a perfect total plan that is for them. I know yep. that there's going to be people out here that aren't going to like this video. But sometimes the truth hurts, folks. And I just want you to be aware. All right. I want everybody out there to be ready. Now, you, a lot of people are just like, you know, oh, prepping, that's just for the birds. And, oh, I'll, I'll let God take care of me and, and all this kind of stuff, which I totally get. All right. Yes. Uh, you know, I mean, if you believe in God and everything, which I do. But also, I always fall back to the good old saying, Noah was the first prepper. God told Noah to build a boat, to put two of every animal on it. And he had to put food and everything else on there to get to his journey. Now, he did not know that his journey was going to be 40 days and 40 nights. He, he had, had no idea exactly how long he was going to be on that boat. So, if you look at it, Noah was the first prepper. Which is pretty cool, right? So, <clears throat> to all the people out there that think prepping is a joke that think that you don't have time um, that say that you don't have the money which you know for a lot of people especially senior citizens it's very difficult they're living off their social security which they probably don't get much of by the time they pay maybe their rent and all this kind of stuff their medical bills which is another whole sore subject of mine you know, there's not a whole heck of a lot of money left for those people to do, put up food. And that's very, very difficult. And as an American, that's very hard to swallow because if you think about it, the people, the older people, are the ones that help build this country. And it's no different than the servicemen, in my opinion, that go off and die in war 
you know but then you turn around and you treat them like crap you're, you're basically paying them like peasants they don't get you know enough money and to survive on and that's another way that well there you go the government controls you because they're controlling how much money you get and they know with that amount of money you're not going to be able to do a whole heck of a lot to prepare for yourself now are you so the question stands folks what is your total opinion on this are we past the point of being prepared is it too late is it too late for us to start prepping for all the new people out there that haven't been prepping yes they can start it's gonna cost them a lot more money than what it did if they would have started you know a year even a year ago inflation shortages um, you know limitations on some products you go to some of the stores you can only buy two um, baby formula well some stores you can only buy one so what are you seeing out there and what is your belief on this whole conversation your opinion is it too late is it part of the plan are they controlling us I believe so and I think they're gonna do it with food that's how they're gonna do it folks so I'm survival preparedness for beginners I hope that everybody really does enjoy this video and I hope that maybe in, it enlightens a few people out there that are on the fence and for all you haters out there that you don't believe that prepping is necessary I pray that hopefully you'll have a, a wake-up call and see that it doesn't hurt to have a little bit put back just on the chance I'm right now does it not saying you have to have six months or a year's worth of food but if you got a family I would definitely put back at least two or three weeks of food but that's just my telling you what I think I can tell you all day long but you people are the ones got to make the choice so I'm survival preparedness for beginners I hope everybody stays safe keep prepping keep your heads up pay attention to what's going on around you things are changing fast folks we got to be on top of our toes to try to stay one step ahead of the man that's following us all the time. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.